Okay, right now the discussion is Panthers versus Tigers. <clears throat> now, there's a lot of talk about um, which tank is better to take. Do you take the Tiger? Do you take the Panther? Well, first let's go over their advantages and disadvantages. The advantages to a Tiger, it's got a long range gun, 40 inch range, as opposed to a 32 inch range for most tanks, including the Panther. It has an 8 inch side armor, which is extremely strong. Uh, it's better than a lot of front armors of uh, Allied tanks, whereas the side armor for a Panther is only five, and, and uh, a decent gun's going to cut right through that. Uh, it's got nine front armor, anti-tank 13, uh, fires two shots. The other major advantage is that it gets a, uh, a tank ace. Uh, well, actually, a tiger ace. Tiger ace rules, you roll before the game, and you roll a one to six, and you get a special ability. Uh, these abilities range from Schnell, that you can make a Stormtrooper move on a 2-up, which is usually, usually you're doing it on a 3-up because you're a veteran. Uh, Clever Hans, uh, tanks in this, you re-roll re -roll failed bogging checks to cross rough terrain and skill tests for uh, to free a bogged down tank. Now, this sounds a lot like um, uh, wide tracks which it already has. However, um, wide tracks don't help you when you're already bogged down. This one will. So uh, I believe you get two rerolls if you get this, if you, you're bogged down. So basically you're not, you can go through terrain and that's really going to help. Uh, for the fatherland, you pass motivation tests. A lot of tigers are confident, so that's a big one. Every shot counts is one of my favorites. Get to reroll any failed um, uh, shots that, that you miss. Rapid fire, you get rate of fire three. That doesn't help you on the move though. And top ace, you get to have two of these. You get to re-roll and, and you get two of these aces. A lot of times when you have a company commander, let's say you have a, a Schwer uh, Panzer company, um, the company commander will already be a top ace. So that, those are Tiger uh, advantages. Of course, they got wide tracks just like the Panther. Um, and it's, a, it's an all around unbelievably good tank. Now the Panther is more focused. The, it, doesn't have the long range that the Tiger has. It has weaker side armor, but it's got a stronger front armor. Strong, just now, it just beats it by one. It's got front armor nine here, front armor ten here, but that ten makes a big difference. For instance, let's say you go up against the Tiger. If if uh, you're out in open terrain and a Tiger meets a Panther, even though the Tiger can pull up at 40 inch range and get an extra shot in, uh, my money's on the Panther because you got anti tank 14 on the gun. So even though it's got to move up, let's say the Tiger moves up, shoots one shot, you know, it's going to bounce off because now this is 11. Panther moves up, shoots one shot. It Long range, this armor is going to be 10. Anti-tank, 14. You're talking a 50% uh, chance of, of pen pure penetration. Of course, one out of six to glance. And only uh, one-third chance to uh, bounce off the armor. That's at long range. So... These guys, you know, when I when I break it down and I and I look for roles in what I'm going to do, generally speaking, the Panther is designed to bust up other tanks. Usually at long range, I'm going to make sure that I have infantry support so that the uh, the flanks are covered. Um, I like to have them, uh, you know, they they need to be at least confident trained. Uh, I prefer the fearless trained on Panthers. Um, but the uh, veteran can help you get a little bit extra maneuverability with your stormtrooper, so that's always good. But they do not have, uh, and this is a big problem for me, they don't have protected ammo like the Tiger does. The Tiger has protected ammo, so if it gets bailed out, it's, it's going to jump back in, especially if it's fearless. Uh, Panther doesn't have that advantage. Its advantage is that it, it's never going to get through that front armor and hopefully never get a shot on the side armor. The uh, Tiger tanks, basically, uh, they're all around awesome tank. Uh, yeah, they're they're going to have trouble against tanks like the Panther, but you're, not, you're fortunately you're on the same side. Uh, a lot of times you're going up against allied tanks. They're very maneuverable. They're going to try to swing around the flanks and try to hit you. Doesn't matter where you hit the Tiger, pretty much. Nine front armor, eight side armor. You're not getting too much of an advantage, especially when you have a lot of these uh, T-34s with anti-tank nine. It's not even going to scratch the front armor, and it's going to barely get through, if at all on the side armor and Sherman's not that much better especially at long range and you can keep them at bay with this uh, long range gun 
So I, I prefer the Tiger. I like the Tiger a lot. Uh, even though Panther is kind of like my favorite tank, uh, the Tiger just seems to be more useful. Now, another thing that you have to consider, I did a breakdown of, I don't know if you could see this, that per tank, if Fearless Train was 165, Confident Veteran were supposed to be comparable, just flipped the stats, 187, and the Tiger is 215. Fearless Veteran, 213 for the Panther, 240 for the Tiger. So the Tiger, I guess Battlefront agrees with me. They're more expensive. They're going to eat up a, a few more points than the Panther tank. And, you know, people get fooled. Don't, when you look at the, uh, the Force organization, they look, oh, wow, you know, Panther is uh, a lot more points. But you're getting three Panthers, and usually what you're looking at with the Tigers is one or two Tigers for that, that first tier of the platoon. So that initial impression that the Panther is more expensive is, uh, is, is false. It's, you're, you're making a mistake on that because per tank, the Tiger is more points. Uh, I prefer the Tiger... Uh, on tactics, for instance, you know, if I if I need to kill tanks, the the Panther is the best. But the Tiger does a, a good enough job. It's 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 just one pip less than the Panther, meaning it can knock out big tanks. It can definitely knock out medium tanks and small tanks. And it's not worried about you getting to the sides like most of the uh, German tanks, Panzer IVs, the Stugs have weak side and rear armor. You're not worried about the Tiger, which means that you can send them in. Um, it's an assault tank. You can send it in because the rule is that when you charge, when you uh, assault a position, they get defensive fire on the side armor. The, these guys are going to have a hard time blocking it. The Tigers won't. So if you've got a guy with a bazooka and he's got defensive fire, you're, you're in pretty decent shape because that 10 anti-tank and, and you have 8 side armor... Even if they hit, it's not going to get through too easy. So one of the good tactics is you pull in, you got your your armored infantry right be, you know right beside them. You send in the tigers first, pin them down. You don't need artillery. You don't need um, to hit them with a lot of machine guns. If you go in and you assault, and you know of course they're not going. You got top armor too, so that's another advantage. And artillery planes. He's going to be more durable. Only one top armor here. Uh, he can go in, do an assault, and then, of course, tanks are unstoppable. So you just send the, the, the Tiger right through the, the lines, and uh, now you're, you're in the middle of all their, their soft stuff. You broke through their lines. You're, you're making them nervous. And then that armored infantry can come in. You know, they already machine gun. Even if they wouldn't pin down, this is an automatic pin. If they get through on the assault, they break off. Whether they win or lose, it doesn't matter. That platoon is pinned. You send in the armored infantry. Now they got a better chance of getting in there and completing the assault and wiping them out. So that, that's one way of getting around um, an unpinned platoon. If you can't machine gun them, you can't shoot them, you can't artillery them, you can't use planes, obviously, because you're, you're, you're setting up an assault, you're able to send your tanks in first, your Tigers. Break them up. Not worry about losing the Tiger, because the Tiger's probably going to handle infantry a lot better than, than the Panther could ever hope to. And then send in your, you know, that awesome armored infantry. It just flew out of nowhere. Twelve inches, bam. Four inches, boom. You know, you're you're slamming into their their uh, um, into their lines and, and creating a flank there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that.